14th Goldfish is about a girl named Ellie, and she's just starting middle school. She doesn't like a lot about what's happening. She doesn't like change. Her old friends are meeting new friends, and she hasn't really found her place in the world yet. And her mom comes home one night, and she brings home this boy who reminds her of her grandfather, Melvin. And it turns out that this boy is her grandfather, Melvin. And Melvin is a scientist has spent his whole career to reverse aging. It wasn't that hard finding the voice for Ellie. I just kind of channeled my middle school angst. Melvin was really inspired by my dad, a pediatrician. He loved science, and he actually used to keep Petri dishes to grow bacteria when we were kids. If a kid in the neighborhood hurt themselves, my dad would suture them up right there in our kitchen. 14th Goldfish is a little bit of a departure for me because it's contemporary. But I use the same process that I use to write my historical novels like Turtle in Paradise or Penny from Heaven. Sometimes we think of science as a textbook or a period in school when the truth is science is all around us and scientists, all they really do is question their place in the world and that's something that anybody can do. Why is the sky blue? Why does water turn into ice at a certain temperature? Why won't my hair hold a curl without 40 pounds of hairspray? It's all science. Or maybe I just need a better conditioner. I'd love to see boys and girls especially get excited about science. They can find the cure for cancer, that they can dream big and go to Mars.